Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the Weight Cases feature in SPSS. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in the SPSS data editor fictitious data that I'll be using this example, and I also have another data set that I'll be showing in a moment that also contains fictitious data. Now in this example, with these two variables, I'll be using a chi-square. And in this data set, I'm not going to use the weight cases feature. And in the other data set, I am going to use the weight cases feature. And I'm going to show you how you can get the same result even though the data are entered in a different format. So let's take a look at this format first. We have these two variables, method and outcome, and both are categorical. Both have three levels. Let's assume that this method is an instructional method and it's designed to teach a special set of counseling skills. So there's an online instructional method here as well as an individual method and a group method. After we deliver the counseling skills training we have an outcome that we measure and it's going to be categorized as one of three levels, low, moderate, and high. So method three levels, online individual group, outcome three levels, low, moderate, and high. So let's conduct a chi-square with these data in this format. So analyze, descriptive statistics, cross tabs, and conceptually of course we're going to think of the method as the predictor variable and usually we put that in the row list box and then outcome in the column list box. Of course, it'll work either way. It's just a more common practice. So we're thinking of method as a predictor and outcome, of course, as an outcome variable. Statistics, I'm going to check off chi-square. Click Continue, and then click OK, and we'll take a look at the results. So we can see here the method times outcome cross-tabulation. We have the method here, online individual group and the outcome low, moderate, high, and the frequency. So the combination of online and low occurred 13 times, online moderate 10 times, and online high 7 times. And we have frequencies for online individual and group here. So we have nine values here. Then under the chi-square tests table, we have the Pearson chi-square and we see we have a statistically significant result, 0 0.025. So now let's take a look at the other data set. So you can see here I have method and outcome again, and I have the three levels, online, individual, group, and the outcome low, moderate, high. And every possible combination is represented in this data set. So we have nine entries here, and we have each combination, online low, online moderate, and so on. And then I have the frequency. So online and low, that occurred 13 times, online moderate 10 times, and so on. So you notice that the way this data set structured, the frequency values match what I have here in the cross tabulation. So it may be in some cases we receive the data in this format instead of a format where we have the method laid out with all the cases of online, all the cases individual and group, we may just be given every combination and the number of times those combinations are observed in this data set. So this is certainly a format you may see and this format here is also a format that you could see. So if you receive data in this format, you don't need to convert it over to the other format. You instead could use the weight cases feature. So I'm going to move over to data and weight cases. And this is what the dialog looks like by default. You can see we have method and outcome, the two variables we had in the original data set, and this frequency variable. And notice this is scale, at the scale level of measurement. 
by default we do not wait cases you can see that's checked off and I'm gonna click wait cases by and move the frequency variable over to the frequency variable text box and click OK and you go back to the output and you can see wait by frequency wait by frequency so moving back over to the data set and of course we could run this analysis from the output view as well I'm going to run the same analysis I ran before analyze descriptive statistics cross tabs under statistics chi-square I'll check that off continue method in the row list box outcome and the column list box so this is set up the same way as I set up the other analysis click OK and we can see here that we have the exact same results you see the frequency the frequencies for online and low online and moderate and all these other values they're identical to what I had here from this first analysis all right so these tables match and of course the result of the chi-square is the same as well 0 0.025 so with the weight cases feature you could save a lot of time if you are collecting the data in this format where you have these variables and then you have this frequency variable if you're going to continue to run analyses with this data set let's say there was other variables of interest here and you did not want the weight cases to be in effect for that make sure to go back under data select weight cases and either click reset and then OK you can see it sets it back to default do not wait cases or if you want this frequency variable to stay in the frequency variable text box as it was before like this is how I've reconfigured it right here you can just click do not wait cases but you can see it's going to keep that frequency variable in that list box so if you move back it'll still be there so do not wait cases click OK and then you can see here at the bottom of the statistics viewer wait off so up here we had wait by frequency and then down here we now have wait off I hope you found this video on using the wait cases feature to be useful and thanks for watching